hey guys what's up welcome back to another video today 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 as you guys can see from the title we are going to be trying this delicious southwest i think it's called southwest whopper from burger king mm -hmm. it's a southwest bacon whopper i do not eat pork so we told them not to put bacon in there we got some fries uh oh, almost forgot to pray. Let's go ahead and pray, guys, and jump right in. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. Let's be nutritious to our body. Keep us motivated to turn around and walk in your direction. Lord, make us more like you and also serve God. So, Jesus, we will pray in favor of mm. Alright, guys, I am ready to try this. I have been working and I am tired, so tired and hungry. So this doesn't actually look like anything but a Whopper. <laughs> okay, so let me just show you guys. Hold on. Let me fix it for y'all. Okay. This is what it looks like, the inside. It's got like some tortilla chips or something. some tortilla chips a little bit of like spicy sauce that looks to be in like only one spot and then the bacon that's supposed to be on here but I asked them not to put it on here big bite big bite all right so let's go ahead and take a bite and see what they are talking about here It definitely tastes like a Whopper. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. I was wondering where I had gotten like cool ranch Doritos from but I remember watching Gil's video his review on it and I remember you said that um it tasted like cool ranch Doritos so yes that I can agree it does taste like cool ranch Doritos the chips the nacho chips that are in there I don't know if you guys can see them um that's what it's giving me like Doritos cool ranch vibes um other than that, it honestly just tastes like a Whopper. I don't know if like, you know, the bacon actually added any like, I don't know, made it different. But this definitely tastes like a Whopper with like Cool Ranch Doritos. Yeah, because even like the sauce, mm, it's not. Mm, that's a Coke, y'all. Hold up. Isn't this supposed to have like avocado, guacamole? Okay. I guess it does. It's like a guacamole spread. I can't taste it. Mm. 
It's definitely good. I mean, it tastes like a Whopper. So, if you like Whoppers, you'll like this. Mm. These fries, though, I can't really do Burger King fries for some reason. Like, they're not my favorite at all. Oh, okay. Now, before I finish all this, this whole Whopper. We're gonna go ahead and try these jalapeno cheddar bites. I don't know, they look very crunchy. I don't know, let's just try them. Oops, I didn't leave y'all any. Hmm. I think. Okay, so it's definitely so I can taste the jalapeno, but it's not like spicy. Can I see that? I mean, they're breaded really good. Tastes like a nice snack. Mm. I'm not sure like what's going on at the park over here because there's definitely like so much people pulling up everywhere. Guys, it's almost back to school. Isn't that crazy? Not like for us, but well, yeah, and for us too. Because we gotta be going back and forth with school for all these kids again. Mm. But it's okay. Do not give up. Mm. Do not give up. No matter what it is that you're going through. Do not give up because you're almost there. I know it feels like it's not going to end. I know. Um, sorry for this video being like all over the place. I know I was just talking about school, but just, just don't give up because... Mm. Mm. the reason why it's so hard and you're going through it so much is because you're almost there you're almost there you're almost to the finish line and the enemy knows that so he's doing everything in his power to throw everything at you so you don't make it there. So you feel overwhelmed and depressed and sad and like it's never gonna work. But don't let him trick you. Cause the biggest bully, the biggest bully of all is the enemy. Or his ugly self. Mm-hmm. He will literally use everything against you so that you don't you can give up so you can have all these bad feelings and sad feelings of not being able to go through. Mm. But no matter what, don't let him get away with it. Mm-hmm.
every day give it your all every day do what you gotta do Ooh. you know there's uh, two uh, I think I was talking about this before there's two principles called a vision and um, two principles called a vision one is called vision and the other one is called consistency if you have a, the vision in your head if God gave you that vision if you have it you know what the ending looks like you see it and you are consistent those two principles will work for you if you are consistent all the time oh excuse me it doesn't matter if you know how to do something or not if you have a degree in something or not if you do it consistently you will consistently get better without a degree And these principles don't care if you're sad, happy, mad, or any of these feelings while you're being consistent, while you're doing the thing that you're supposed to be doing. It doesn't care. As long as you're consistent with it, it doesn't matter if you do it angry. It doesn't matter if you do it sad. It doesn't matter if you do it happy. As long as you're consistently doing it, it's going to, it's going to give you... Um, <clears throat> results mm. at the end of the day that's how it works principles are principles you can't change them mm. and that's that I'm learning so much with time and just with like trying to learn myself and who I am and who I'm becoming and just everything about life, you know? Mm. It's so crazy the things that we take seriously all our life, like everything that they teach us growing up that we don't need at all. Mm. Like what they should be teaching in school is the Bible. God's word is what should be in the curriculum, not mm, all this other stuff that they got going on. Because mm, his word is the only thing, like, it does not matter if you went to school or if you did not go to school. His word, you will make it, you will make it with his word. That's it. So, I don't understand why. Hmm, this one got a lot of jalapenos. Why they don't teach that at school. Hmm. You know, if they taught that in school, it could save so many lives, so many kids from doing stupid stuff and making like the wrong choices throughout school. It's just crazy. But anywho, guys, it was great talking to you guys today. You know, every time I learn something, I want to be able to teach it to you guys or to tell you guys what I learned because these are key elements to like life. These are key points in life that anybody, I feel like everybody needs to know that like it's going to be okay. At the end of the day, it's going to be fine. But I'm super full. I mean, I honestly give that Whopper like a 9 out of 10. Only giving it a 9 because, um, I mean, not I didn't give it a 10 because it just tastes like a Whopper. It doesn't really taste like anything else. 
So just name it Whopper with chips or something. I don't know. But um, it was good. It was really good. I would get it again because it tastes like a Whopper, like I said. The jalapeno cheddar bites, they taste good. They don't, they're not spicy at all. So if you like your jalapeno cheddar bites really spicy, I don't recommend those. However, if you just want to get some jalapeno cheddar bites, Anywho, the jalapeno cheddar bites were good. I would maybe get those again because they were like only $2. Um, but they don't taste spicy, so that's the only thing. And, and yeah, I have got to go, guys, because I got to get back to work. It's about to rain again, y'all. It's been raining every single day like crazy in Florida but thank you guys so 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 much for watching I appreciate you guys I really really do thank you all for sharing I really really appreciate y'all um, let me know anything else you guys want to see me eat or try or anything of that nature just comment down below say hi and uh, yeah as always I will see you all in my next video Bye.